I'm just currently flabbergasted and in love with the Helion armor set. I look like a de I look like a devil in this armor set. I was about to say, I look like a dad, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I mean, you're, you're, you're Pat's dad, but how do you look like a dad with the armor? No, but like, you've ch you've checked out the uh, the Helion arm set, right? Uh, I don't know. Have I? I probably have. I think I've created every armor. Oh, yeah, no, that's the one I haven't created, really. Hold up, craft. Uh, craft. Uh, I can't craft the pants. <laughs> you're pantless. No! I have the, um, Ember, like, Ember main armor up to level 8, 8, and 7. Nice. Got my Youngblood hoodie, like, not super long ago, and, like, I just constantly wear it. I mean... And I, I love this hoodie so much. Is it, is it worn? Well, that and it's, um, an artist I very much enjoy, Youngblood. Yeah, no, I was starting to listen to it last night before I passed out. It, it's pretty nice. Yeah, he's got some different stuff, though. It's it's out there, yeah. Like, I'm trying to experiment yeah. with all kinds of songs. Yeah, no, like, his, um, the polygraph eyes, it's just, it's about a real issue, too. Like, people, like, when girls are drunk, like, trying to, like, do things, or even when anyone's drunk, people using that. It's just, like, that's a real issue, and he didn't care. He's just like, I'm gonna write a song about it, and, like, his entire thing is not caring really what people think and just being who you are because like he'll go up on stage and he'll wear like a freaking dress or a skirt and not care oh well, yeah that, that's cool like dresses are comfortable well he's just like his whole thing is not giving like any care about what people think about it and like that's something i struggle with it's like I've had really bad self-confidence and just confidence, and lately it's been getting a lot better, and, like, finding him, too, just, like, even boosted it even more to not caring. Hey, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Keep... Also, I've been listening to a lot of Machine Gun Kelly, and I don't listen to rap, but, like, him, I'm just like, screw it, he's pretty good. Machine Gun Kelly? I've always kind of listened to some of his stuff, because he's, like, one of the few rappers I don't mind. I don't like a lot of rap. Okay. But, like, him, I'm always just like, yeah. Because he also just doesn't give a shit what people think. And he's like, <laughs> he has like a really adorable daughter. And like, he literally didn't sleep for like a cup. He was like getting back to, he's like, I promised I'd be at her like dance recital or something. He took like two flights back, car ride, everything. He's like, to the person who got mad at me because I wouldn't stop at the airport to take a picture, I promised my daughter I would be at her show on time. And that's what I'm doing. So fuck you. And I'm like, yes. That's so Preach. good. He made it on time, and then he took her out for dinner, and then they went bowling, I think. That's so good, I love it. And I was sitting there like, oh my god, they are cute. <laughs> Do it, And Shit. like, she'll like, look, like, there's a cute video of them, like, rapping along to one of his songs, but since she's so young, there's some curse words, so I think he taught her to, like, kind of dab instead of saying the curse word. Yeah, that's nice. Because it was cute watching them, like, looking at each other and doing it, and then she just stop and dab during that curse word. I'm just like, this is good parenting. Yeah, hey, do it. Are you going to Yeah, but I these went... songs are good, too. Okay, so that's, so uh, we're going to do that, then, like, when we see each other at PAX again, you're going to start dabbing every time we hear a curse word. Is that all right? Oh, God, okay. <laughs> I'll do it with you. How about that? I could do I just blast some Machine Gun Kelly at PAX and we start dabbing. I mean, a couple of the songs yes. like every few sentences, and I'm just like, I don't care, I listen to this. Dab. He has some songs that are like really like curse oriented, or I guess, but he also has some songs that have like a good meaning. That's good to look that for, are, like, yeah. actually real. No, I don't mind it, it's just it's a pain. It's, I can hear it in your voice, like... <sighs> I don't like fighting shock ones a whole lot. Shock isn't my best uh, forte. I don't mind it, but I just, I, I don't like, because I have to go around and you have to knock out all the things so they don't shoot orbs at you. Mm-hmm. I feel it. Do I even have any good shock armor? No, I don't. Wait. 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 Nope. Nope. My, I think my best one is, uh, that's not. Oh wow, okay, I actually do. I have a level 7. That's nice. That, that pretty good. 
I can't upgrade it anymore until I get more, uh, things from Tire Patrols. No, I'm sorry. No, I don't like Tire Patrols. <laughs> I don't buy them. I just hate, because a lot of times when I end up doing them, there's like, all these monsters they could pick from for a Tire Patrol, and they give me the freaking Rift Striker. The freaking Void Kitty. How that? Oh yeah, that's right, because like, it just, it voids into its own hole, and then... It can pop out at you and then starts, like, freaking, like, it does this thing to where it, like, rolls really mm -hmm. fast and, like, spins around, and it just shoots out different areas, and you're just sitting there like, please don't kill me! Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I was, like, I was in a thing on Discord yesterday, we'll just message it, and I was like, I'm gonna listen to music, and Brevin calls my ass out. He's like, we all know what you're gonna listen to. I'm like, shut up, I'm actually not listening to Youngblood right now. He's like, right now? <laughs> like, not even, like, 30 minutes later, I'm like, okay, now I'm listening to Youngblood. He's like, wow, it only lasted a few minutes. I'm like, hey, I was listening to, like, other artists for, like, three hours earlier, which was true, because I listened to Machine Gun Kelly for, like, four hours yesterday. Yeah, that's good. Hey, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good arrangement of music. You got to yeah, keep the I variety going. Yeah, I go from, like, freaking Five Seconds of Summer, which is, like, popish, like, kind of different punk, I guess, to, like, freaking Youngblood, who's just everything to me. Yeah, Five Seconds of Summer is, like, is not that bad. I really enjoy their song, Teeth. Oh, my God, yes. Well, Five Seconds of Summer is also one of the bands that kind of helped me get through a lot in my life. Aw, hey. Because I've been, I've been following them since the... They started on YouTube, and really? I found Luke on YouTube one day, and I was, I don't know, I was a small child at this point. You were small? I was small, Bean. I was very small, Bean. I didn't even have a YouTube account to watch things on Were you, that. were you like a string bean? Oh, boy. I wasn't even 13. Dear God. And they helped I you out? I didn't have a YouTube or any of that. No, this is before, like, well, yeah, but they didn't start out Eve. It was just Luke on YouTube originally and just posting covers. And I yeah. remember I just clicked on the video because I was like, he's pretty cute. He's pretty cute with this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he cute and can sing. Okay, and I literally wrote down the channel name on a freaking sticky note. To look up every time. Yep. And that I would was... go back and look at that. And then they, like, formed the band because they brought in uh, Michael and then Callum and then Ashton, who's my favorite. Oh, a fun boy. And I was just... I was like, ooh, I like this band, and yeah, so I've been following them since, like, they were really, really small. It's like, I was never able to go to one of their concerts until, like, the summer before my senior year of high school. I, like, was able to finally go, and literally, the second, like, they walked out, so I started, like, shaking when they started uncovering, like, Aww. the drums, because Ashton's my favorite member. And he's a drummer, so I was like shaking. My mom's like, am I gonna need to sit on you so you don't run up on the stage? I was like, that's a huge possibility. Oh no. <laughs> but, like, oh dear. They started like, so when they all came out, I literally just started crying. And my mom's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm good. This is, I just can't believe this is real. It can be real if you the, want it to be. Yeah, because like, I got good tickets. Like, I wasn't in the pit, but I was like on the row right there to where like, I was still pretty close to them. And Dang it was like just really cool to go to and experience that and see. Would you like to go there again? Oh yeah. I plan on eventually seeing them again, but I don't, like, it's like a thing to where I don't need to. Like, it would be amazing, but like, I've seen them once and that was good and it was, it wasn't cheap, but I was happy. And uh, it's like, and now I've gone to go see uh, different artists too. Like, I've gotten to see Nate Once the Battle live, and I plan on going to his again because his concerts, like, the ticket prices are pretty reasonable. Is it? I got VIP tickets for fifty dollars. That's so cheap. That was that was one VIP ticket, so I got two because my mom took me because I refused to drive in Seattle because I don't like it. Oh dear. I I hate driving in Seattle, so she drove me to Seattle and that. And i so it was him and another artist, um, oh, God. I went to go see the Mark show, it was great. Yeah. Jack show, I'm trying to think, have I gone to any other concerts? Oh yeah, my friend, she bought tickets to go see Andy Black, and that was amazing, because I also discovered I really liked two other bands that were there, which was cool looking the fame. Hey, do it. Yeah, well, we also really like Andy uh, Black, because he's the lead singer in Black Veil Brides, and he I was is? the one who got her into Black Veil Brides. Yeah, like, we freaked out because he, like, gave us a high five, and we both were just, like, dying inside. 
she was like, he touched my hand. I'm like, he's married. She's like, I don't care. I'm like, but they're cute. She's like, they are cute, but he touched my hand. That's okay. Yeah, definitely try to steal him. That's a fucking mood. I want to revive the guy, but he was underneath the belly. He doesn't need revived. He's already yeah. here. Oh, God, no. Don't touch me. He probably used one of his things. This is such a mood, God. What, just being, like, done with everybody? The, the electric boy? God. Yeah, he's just done with everything. Oh, God. Okay, come here. Let me three, three, sh three shoe beat you. I need to be more patient when I fight him. And he appeared. Did he go in the water? There's mushrooms over there. Moom. Ooh, mushrooms? Shrooms? I shrooms? Need, I need those. Shrooms? Yeah, there's shrooms. There's a couple of them. I need them to make more of the certain grenades. Do I need to wait until I'm a certain level to get other grenades? Or it doesn't matter? Uh -huh. Okay, so... I think it's another level. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had these. Okay, because I was thinking about, like, what if... I wasn't sure if, like, it wouldn't appear until they had the materials, or not. Nah, I think it just appears at a certain level. Okay. Big I'll boy. I'll probably get a quest to go and make them. I need a pain. He got rate. health back and I'm annoyed. He was at half. He was at half. And now he's back at half. Yes. I'm starting to like that axe because of the spinning move. Okay, you guys got him. I, I destroyed. Ooh, you destroy you destroy buttocks, butt cheeks. No, I'm, I'm destroying his face. I'm gonna buckle his knees. It'd be kind of funny if they had like if you actually cut their legs off. And if they oh. Didn't have them anymore. There's an axe. There's a. That's actually. You can't actually like. You can kind of like that. It's like you cut off the leg. It's like you don't do any more, like, yellow damage, but you actually don't cut it off, but you get things from it. So, you know what, so what's actually pretty cool, there's a, there's a Japanese game called, like, uh, Todoroki, or, it's, it's a, it's a Monster Hunter, um, copy, but essentially, uh, what you can do is actually rip limbs from them, to where if you I damage, yeah, so if you damage the part enough, you can actually use your dimensional claw to rip it off the guy. I love that. That's just the mood. And it's an it's it's a really it's a really big anime game, so you can definitely have elf, uh, uh, animal ears, or elf. Ah, uh, literally. That's why I love like in World of Warcraft. I'm a blood elf hunter, and I'm like I have the biggest ears I could have. Nice. Because I was just like, give me my elf ears. Let me. Oh no, I just I just love elf ears on like my characters. And in that. general. Yeah. I just, I don't know, I've always just loved how they looked on, like, my characters in video games and that. I agree. I can see the appeal. Well, there goes his tail. Yeet! Oh my god, he has a full tail cut off, I love it. Some of them, their entire tail actually gets cut off. And now he can't hit us with it. And he's dead. Ooh. Yee. Hell yeah. Yee. That's how you do it. Oh, yeah. I got S plus for my rank. Oh, nice. I got an A. Nice. Heroics aren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be, though. So. Hmm. Like, I thought it was gonna be a lot harder, but it's not. It's like, that's a level 14, that's a level 16, 16, 15. I really don't want to fight the 
Terra or Shock ones that high because they're annoying. You don't have to yet. That's my quest. Oh no. I'll eventually fight them. Just right now, it's like I'm good. I'm fine. Okay, so what is the quest? Dire warning? Yeah, so. What's it say? So hunt Rockfall Scarn, Firebrand Charog. Let's go with the Nasher. Oh. Let's go with the Nasher first. Rage Tail Nasher. Okay, that's fine. That beaver. Cause... I love that beaver. That is level nine. Lovely. We are fighting level sevens right now. We were? Oh god. Okay, so I'm that Uh is... weapon power and armor power recommended is three twenty five. Three, I don't think I'm 325. It's okay. But, yeah. Oh, 340, Rage okay. Nasher? Yeah, Rage Tail's fine. Okay. This, a, this one's a fun one. Yeah? I fight, a, I fight this specific one a lot on Heroic and that, because it's one of the common ones. Uh-huh. Because it's a neutral one, and I'm like, eh, that's fine. But yeah. But it pisses me off at times. <laughs> that is all. What's, what's upsetting about it? That it's freaking heroic, and that it can kill you very quickly. What makes it heroic? Higher level, does more damage, ah. stays enraged longer, really likes ah. to kill you. <laughs> uh -huh. Even more than normal. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're you're out here trying to enjoy living life. How about you don't? And I'm just like, thanks, friend. Thanks, I didn't need that. I wasn't feeling that arm anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I'll just grow a new one. Yeah, it wouldn't be an issue, right? You're okay. <laughs> it's with casual. That. Yeah, I'm Deadpool. I, I just turn into Deadpool casually. Just a casual nod. It's fine. That'd be kind of cool. I could, I'd like turning into Deadpool. That'd be funny. I could make all those jokes that he does. All the many jokes.